Okay. So, my own boy's ass, he says, uh, Seth, he said, why, how do you administer this SR9009 cream, right? And I was like, okay, so here's the deal. SR9009 is made, it was, um, specifically designed to throw the research person, animal, whatever, the, um, the critter out of balance. The only time that we actually heal, that we actually change, that what we are continually going for is to throw the body out of rhythm. The reason being is, well, if you get sick, you're thrown out of your natural balance, your homeostasis. This is when you heal. If you start a bodybuilding routine, this is when your body is thrown out of homeostasis and you change really quickly. If you start intermittent fasting, your body is thrown out of balance, so you heal. So SR9009 was developed as a REVERB agonist, which is basically means it's going to throw your internal clock off rhythm. So what you want to do is you want to administer this at random times throughout the day, on and off, so that you don't create, you're not trying to create a new circadian rhythm. You're getting rid of your rhythm. You're throwing your body out, uh, or the research animal, out of balance. Because that's when the change happens. The whole idea and principle behind any type of healing starts with, okay, everything's got to change so that the body goes into healing mode. The only time you're in healing mode is when you're out of balance. If you get sick, your temperature goes up. Everything starts to change rapidly. This is throwing you out of homeostasis. If you get cancer even, the cancer can only survive because it mimics the rhythm of the body. So therefore, when you throw yourself out of rhythm, the cancer is identified by the immune system. When you start a bodybuilding routine, this throws you out of your natural balance so that you can start a healing crisis. When you intermittent fast, the fasting throws you out of your rhythm so that you start to change. And once you develop a resistance or you get a tolerance to whatever you're doing, what happens? You stop changing. So SR9009, the whole principle of healing is based right there in the REVERB in altering the rhythms of the body. That's why it works so well. That's what it's made for. That's why it has so many different things that it helps. Like it, this stuff has been studied to kill cancer. It has been studied to reverse diabetes. It's been studied to be exercised in a bottle so you increase muscle mass, decrease body fat. It's been studied to um, increase endurance, it's studied to, to allow your body to identify pathogens that normally it could not identify, that, it's, that, have, that mimic our system, like viruses, flus, bacteria, all different kinds, all different kinds. Um, but it's so diverse because it works as a mechanism to throw the body into a complete and total healing phase. So metabolism goes up, everything starts to work better. Body is in a healing crisis, is what it's called. Just like if you break your arm, the body goes into healing crisis. Things change rapidly. So anyway, you want to use that, and because of the DMSO in there and the molar mass is so small, it can be absorbed directly through the skin and DMSO being a carrier of everything into the bloodstream, you just administer that to your research animal on a thin skin, like under the forearm or um, anywhere. And you only have to do it once a day. You're getting almost 100% absorption rate, number one. Number two is when you throw the body out of homeostasis, it's not like it just right immediately goes back. So it may only have a two-hour half-life. It may have a 30-minute half-life. It doesn't matter. Your body has to readjust back to normal. That takes time. See what I'm saying? So if you do it at random times each day, you're constantly throwing the body out of rhythm. It's not like your other drugs. It's not like other um, research chemicals or medicines or anything that you've taken before or used before because it simply is 
affecting everything. It's a systemic healer, really. But your body doesn't heal. You don't do anything but throw your body out of balance. Then the body has to heal. It has to find things wrong. It has to go into a healing crisis. By the way, it's not for human consumption. It's a research chemical. Um, you can't take it. But um, in one day, you know, your benevolent government will give you the right to be able to try things like that. But until then, you have to use it as a research chemical or research animals or in research laboratories. So don't, you know, check it out. NewSarms.com. Love you all. Peace. <laughs>